Welcome to the Geeky Girls Knit Podcast. I'm Cece, also known as Java Pearl. I'm Damaris, also known as Damaris Dash Bit Weird. And we're glad to have you today. Today is Wednesday, June the 12th, and this is episode 42. Not six. 42. We'd like to welcome back our returning viewers. Thanks for coming back. We are really grateful for you and that you watch each week. And a big hello to any new viewers. Hello. Um, please come join our Ravelry group and introduce yourself in the introductions thread. And if you do that, we'll give you a shout out on the next episode. Nobody introduced himself this week? So, I think we're ready to get started. Are you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Now we're going to talk about what is on our needles. What's on your needles, Mayor? I still have this on my needles. You made some progress. You should have put a marker in from last week so we knew how much progress you made. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should do that this week. So, um, this is the second sleeve for my Watson sweater from Dr. Watson's Cabled Crew Neck by Trudy Brown. It's the yarn is Bar Barocco Vintage in the Oats colorway, and it's size four needles, US size four, which is 3.5 millimeters. Yes. You're making progress. I know it's weird to work on a sweater in the heat of summer, especially since it's been in the 90s and 100s here. You can do it. I think you should put a marker in this week, though, so we see how far you get. I have purple and green ones. Yes? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget. Okay. I have a couple things on the needles and some things that are off the needles that I'll show you in the next segment. This is um, a pattern I've done a bunch of. I think this is the fifth, sixth pair of these I have done, but with my edits to them, which are on the, my project page. I increased needle size and I increased number of stitches because they were too tight otherwise. So this is the Malabrigo Hand Thingies Pattern by Anne Sahakian, and I'm doing it in shimmer yarn in black. I don't know if you can tell. It's got some, oh, you can see a little bit of the shimmer. And this is on size uh, US 8, 5.0 millimeters, and I just started, um, I know it's hard to tell because this is dark yarn, but I've done the bottom, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, I've done the bottom ridges and now I've started on the um, hand part of the glove, of glove number one. Oops, I just dropped yarn in the floor. The other thing on my needles, um, yeah, I fell down this week and um, cast on some socks. Although my to-do list of projects to get done before we go to Scotland is about this long. I cast on socks. So I showed you all this yarn last week because this is the, some of the yarn that I won from um, Diane of the Knittables podcast. And it is, I'm looking for the labels, um, Wildfoot Luxury Sock Yarn. 75% washable wool, 25% nylon, and they're both 50 grams, but they coordinate. One of them is, is multicolor, and one of them is a solid, so I'm using them to stripe. Um, one of them's little lilac, and one is lilac desert. So this is a multicolor, and it's, that's pretty true. It's a lavender and, um, browns and whites and a green and then the solid is just the lavender so I am using Hermione's everyday sock pattern by Erica Luter but I am modifying it with my normal toe up 
sock pattern and just using the stitch pattern from the Hermione socks. So I'm doing them two at a time um, on US 1's 2.25 millimeters and um, trying to get the yarn to behave so I can show you. So I cast on and I've done this much this week. And this is the back, the sole of the foot. So I have done, I'm, I'm almost ready, I think, for my heel flap. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I have like three rows to go, and I'll be ready to do my heel flap. So, um, yeah. I know I'm supposed to be knitting other stuff, but I fell down. But I really like the um, stitch pattern. I think it's turning out well, even though I'm using it on a... It's turning out really well on the solid, and even though I'm using it on a uh, variegated, I think it's still showing up pretty well. Don't you think? And I tried them on last night, and they fit wonderfully. And so, yep, that's what's on my needles right now. I think we're ready for the next segment. Now we're going to talk about our finished projects. Okay, so I have three. So see, I am making progress. I am finishing things. So I think I showed, didn't I show this last week they were in progress? Yeah. Okay, so this is also a pattern I have knit a bunch of. This is the All Washed Up pattern by Jill Arnouche, and this is I Love This Cotton in the Camelot colorway. Oh, and that's pretty true to color right there. And this is on US 6s, 4.0 millimeters, and it's a set of three. So that's one finished project. Second finished project is a pattern I just talked about. The Malabrigo Hand Thingies by Anne Sahakin. And this is a uh, shimmer in the chocolate colorway. So it's brown with like bronze shimmers. So it's got this, um, it's got three ridges down here. And then there's, it's hard to tell, but there is a slip stitch detail all the way up the hand. And um, the thumb, you increase for the thumb and then put the stitches on waist yarn and then uh, join back in the round to complete your hand and then come back and finish your thumb. Um, like I said, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, my only complaint about it is it runs really small. So um, once I increase the needle size and added in some extra stitches, it works really well. So project number two finished. Project number three. Now y'all saw her last week, but I finished all her details, and she officially has a name now. This is Sarah Jane, the Doctor Who stuffy. Hello! And as you can see, she has her own fourth Doctor's scarf. And her little hair bow matches her scarf. And she's adorable. I just love her. So what I did for her scarf, I'll take it off and show you. So here's the scarf. I just did, I think I did like eight stitches wide. And what I did so that I could get the color pattern is I took the free Doctor Who scarf pattern that's on Ravelry and just downsized it to about 25%. So instead of, for example, maybe eight rows, I did like two. Or instead of um, 32 rows, I did 
eight. So, and I think I, I think I made it all the way through the entire pattern with it downsized, obviously. Wait, it needs to go the other way so that it wraps back around. So Sarah Jane is going to be my um, podcast m monster button, button monster. Um, but I, I want her sh to show her to y'all first before I put podcast buttons on her. Because right now they're just over on a thing, sitting over with my knitting stuff. So, she is based on the Zombie the Podcaster pattern by Amy Spindler from the Stockinette Zombies podcast. And um, I did her on US 10s, 6.0 millimeters. And you can look at my project page for all the yarns because I used quite a few different yarns, as you can tell. And I love her. And I entered her into the Wolf Farms Summer of Stuffies. And she makes me happy. And her name officially is Sarah Jane. The Doctor Who Stuffy. Do you love her? Isn't she adorable? She loves you, Damaris. <laughs> so, Sarah Jane is now finished. And I am thrilled with her. Are y'all thrilled with her? All right. Bye, people. Time for the next segment. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. Yummies. Yummies is when we talk about our current favorite things or good things that happened this week or things that we love or things that we just want to share with you. Okay, Demir, share fast because I'm getting really hot with this thing on. Okay. <laughs> We still have Geeky Girls Knit Buttons that we would like you to have. If you want one. Yes. So, um, like above our heads here, do you see it? Is our email address, or you can PM me on Ravelry. If you're in the States, it's about $1.50 to, sh to, to package it and ship it to you. Um, if Outside the States, I think it's about $2. Um, so if you want one, just send us an email or PM me. I will send you one. We wish we could just send them to everybody, but Scotland, you know, money. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to talk about this right quick. Um, I had seen several podcasters talk about it, and so when the shop opened, uh, I went and bought one. This is from Tix Trinkets, who is Terry Sims, who is Jet Girl, the Jet Girl 1313's mom. Um, she's on Etsy, tixtrinkets.etsy.com. And what it is, is this amazingly awesome little, I can't, I'm, uh, there we go, uh, shawl holder on her thingy. So I had to dig into my, expertly put. Yeah. Whatchamacallit. I had to dig into my clothes that I had already packed for Scotland to get a shawl out so that I could put put it on. So this is uh, a real heavy shawl that I did out of, um, I don't even remember. I won it in a giveaway. I'll link it in the show notes so you can tell what the shawl really is. It's got a really pretty You're not talking about the shawl. You're talking lace about pattern. It. Anyway, so um, I'm going to take this off so I can show it to him up close, and that means that I can take off the shawl. Oh, it's hot here. Okay, so here's the little doohickey. Expertly put. Hold your hand up behind it so they can see it better. Okay, so of course I had to get pink, because would you expect any different from me? No, orange. No. Turquoise. Okay, so mine is pinks and silvers and um, some clear stones. But what is awesome about this is these little, are they called alligator clips? I think maybe, maybe they're called. Do you remember? Clips. Do you remember Just those little hair? They're like those hair clips that were popular for a while, but the teeth on them are a little bit jagged. You can't even tell hardly. Me holding it up. But ju just enough to hold it onto your shawl, but not jagged enough to snag your yarn. And so you can use this cute little thing to um, hold your shawl on without damaging your shawl. 
and you can wear it a bunch of different ways. I've seen podcasters um, who reviewed them. I, the, I bought this one myself. I did not get this for review. Um, so I'm telling you based on my own purchase. Um, you can wear shawls bunches of different ways, and it's just really great, especially if it's, like, windy outside or if you're a big girl like me and the shawls tend to kind of fall off. This will help hold it on. And it was a really good price. I think I paid... She has several different prices. I'll link it in the show notes. I think this one was $12. But I love it. It's pink. So go check out Tix Trinkets on Etsy. All right, next up. We got thank you notes. Do you got one too? From Christy, who is uh, Christy Ray on Ravelry, and she's the one that we were telling y'all about. That was is the, um, she was the superintendent for the Estes Park Wool Market Children's Tent, and we sent her a bunch of yarn and such, and I think some of y'all did too. And so as a thank you, she sent us some stitch markers that she and I believe her daughter made. I'm trying to get all mine out. I'm missing one. Uh-oh. Did I drop it? I'm going to have to look for it. I don't know where it went. So, mine has some red stones on them. And Damaris. <laughs> That's green, not black. Oh. And this is also green, but lighter. Yeah. So, I don't know where my other one went, because I had five. It flew away. Because I've got four of these red ones, and then there was one that was a little bit different. That gummit, and I put them all back in the envelope and set it aside so that we could show y'all. It's gonna like show up as soon as I stop looking. Who knows? I'll find it. But anyway, we wanted to say thank you to Christy for. Is it in there? Yeah. Huh. Thank you, Christy, for the stitch markers. They're beautiful, and I can't wait to use them. We're having difficulties. So sorry. Okay. Stand by. Let's see. What's next? Besides a drink of water for me. Stash Dash. I'm still doing the Stash Dash. Are y'all doing the Stash Dash? I'm especially loving the Stash Dash. How many times can I say Stash Dash? Stash Dash. On, on Instagram, where you use the hashtag Stash, stash Dash 2013. And you can see everybody else's projects. So, I think I have finished, I think, six projects now. I think that's right. Um, okay, and this is through the Knit Girls podcast group. And so the goal is to, over the course of the summer, to do 4,375 yards. And I'm over halfway! I have currently done... 2,384 yards. That means I have 1,991 yards to go. Most of my yards came from the Doctor Who baby blanket. Everything else has been fairly small yardage, uh, but add it all together. And all of mine has been knit. You can also spin and crochet and weave and all that stuff, um, but since I don't do any of those things at this moment, all of mine has been knitting, and so I am excited. So are you doing the Stash Dash too? If so, how are you doing? All right. What is next? Okay. Angie from our Ravelry group, who is Sundaisy920, started a podcast. A video podcast. And it's adorable. And I got on to her for not telling us. Did you see me get on to her? Yes. It was, I was very nice to get, I was very nicely getting on to her. What are you saying about me? <laughs> What'd you say? I love you. That's not what you said. What'd you say? I can rewind this back and look at it. I said sorry. 
I nicely got on to her and said, you should have told us. So her podcast is called Sun Daisy's Perfect Podcast because it's a cat themed knitting podcast. And she has some cute kitties, right? Damaris came in while I was watching it and she was like, kitties. I love cats, but I'm allergic to them. What do you do? You look Get at other people. No, you look at other people's cats and you go, I know kitten. you do. So Angie did great for her very first episode, and all of her little segments are cat-themed and have pictures of her cats, and she's so adorable. And she has a Ravelry group now. Um, so I'll put a link in the show notes to her podcast address, but it's sundaisysperfectpodcast.blogspot.com. So way to go, Angie. Clap for Angie. We're proud of you. Okay. We got some random acts of patterning from, who were they from, Damaris? Linda M. Noble. It was Linda. And it cracked me up when Damaris told me what pattern she got. You knew about these socks. I know, but I guess I had forgotten. So, um, tell, so first we want to say thank you to Linda. Linda, you made our day. Thank you. So, tell them what pattern Linda gave you. I got the mama. Mama. Yes. I got the Damaris mama. <laughs> I got the Damaris socks. And it's spelled the right way. Because some people spell Damaris different than us. With an E. I saw it one day with gosh, I can't even remember, because there's seven letters in your name, and it was spelled, like, with 12 letters, but it was still Damaris, and I was like, wow. So, anyway, um, the Damaris socks are by, I don't know, Stefanina Knitting Design, oh, by Nicole Mason. And they're so pretty. And then what did I get? I got the Cup of Java Cow by Sarah Wilson, who is the sexy knitter. How could I not love a pattern that is about coffee? And it has one of those things on it. This is a different, no, this is a pin. Do you see that there's a, 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 oh. a pin pin through it? It looked like one of those things. It does kind of look like it. But I can't wait to cast this on. I have so many projects I want to cast on. And Not I, now. I know. I have to finish all these other things first. And oh, I have so much to knit before we go to Scotland. But I am so excited about this. So um, thank you so much, Linda. You made our day. Heart. We forgot to give a heart to Christy. And a heart to Angie. Anybody else we need to give a heart to? Oops, my show notes just turned off. No, I think we're good. Are you broken hearted? <gasps> Quit playing games with <laughs> my heart. <laughs> now what else am I excited about? Lee Meredith, who is lethal. You remember the shawl that I did last year that was brown and pink and it had the chains in it and everything? She's doing another nivelog. It was just announced this week. This is called the Lethal Adventure Knit Along. I'm going to put a the link. Hobbit? That's what I was reminded of. It's an adventure. Sure. Hobbit. So, um, I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes. This is a really, really cool concept because you're going to be able to pick out of four different items that you want to knit all in the same pattern. There's three accessories and one non-wearable smaller items and the items can all be knit in a range of weights of yarn. That's one thing I love about Lethal's patterns is most of them you can do in any weight yarn. Brilliant. So, um, right now the pattern is $8.
which, if you think about it, this whole collection with all the mix match and everything, there's going to be like a hundred different kinds of items you can make with all the different weights of yarn and the different things and the different items and everything. So eight bucks, that is a great price. So I need to buy mine. Um, on July 1st, the price goes up to nine dollars. On July the 12th is when the knit along starts and that's when the first pattern PDF goes live and the price goes up to ten dollars. And then a week later July the 19th, the second knitting part's released and the price goes to $11. And Friday, July the 26th, the final knitting section goes out and things come to an end and the price goes to its final $12 mark. So you are getting a deal if you buy it now, which is why I need to do it. Because I am going to do this. Even though I have 12 gazillion other things I have to knit, you know I have to do lethals. Knit along. And I love her little images that she did for placeholders. Let me see if I can get them sized right. Isn't that cute? And there's more. Hold on, let's see. And here's one by a river. Isn't that awesome? So I am so excited. I was like, I sent, I posted on um, Lethal's Ravelry group and was like, a Lethal mystery knit along and moving to Scotland all in one summer? Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so excited. I love Lethal's patterns. Okay. We've been watching a lot of TV. Because almost all of our shows have wound down. So, what did we finish watching? Buffy. The Vampire Slayer. Mm -hmm. So we wound that down. When was that like last Thursday we finished it, I, I think. think? And now we're on season five of Angel. And yes. Angel and Spike. <laughs> I had a dream last night. It was a Spike in Captain Jack Harkness. Oh no. I'm scared. Hi. We also mm. finished watching Call the Midwife, because I had already watched it all except for the final episode of Series 2. I had waited to watch it, but I had watched all of it, but then we started at the beginning of Series 1 and watched it with the hubs and Damaris and I. So we finished watching it. Oh my gosh, crying, 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 lots of crying, like every episode, crying, crying, crying. You just said we're watching the last season of Angel right now. Mm -hmm. I'm watching Doc Martin. Cracks me up. So funny. It's I, Stephanie Cole. Yes. I knew that because she said Martin. I was like, Stephanie Cole? Stephanie Cole! So tell them who Stephanie Cole is in case they don't she know. She plays Carolyn in Cabin Pressure. Which is the radio comedy that we listen to from BBC. Mm. And it's on hiatus right now. And Benedict Cumberbatch is in it! You don't love Benedict Cumberbatch? I... Okay, um, so I've been watching Doc Martin. Love it. So funny. And... Bum, bum, bum! We started the grand rewatching of all seven series of Doctor Who before the 50th anniversary in November. If you if you follow me on Plurk or Instagram, you probably knew that already because I've been posting some pictures and comments. So last night we watched four episodes: the undead, the unquiet dead, the unquiet dead, aliens of London, World War Three, and Dalek. Dalek. You know the guy who wrote Dalek only wrote that episode. Yes, we and, discovered that last night. And and. He was placed with this important thing of bringing the Daleks back. Then we're like, okay, you won't write any more episodes. So sad. But it was a good episode. And it had, what's her name? I don't know what her name is. That was in Stargate SG-1 in it. She played Osiris. And we got to see Gwen 
or the, what's her name that plays Gwen? Eve Miles. Eve Miles, who plays Gwen in, later in Doctor Who and then into Torchwood, was in The Unquiet Dead. And Tosh. And Tosh was in... Aliens of London. Ali Aliens of London. And my favorite line, I totally Instagrammed this yesterday. What the... What the Shakespeare... <laughs> Wait, what, has this, what did he say? What the Shakespeare is going on. Yeah, what the Shakespeare is going on. Because it was Charles Dix Dickens that said it. <laughs> and the guy who plays Charles Dickens appears again in the Series 6 finale, writing a river song, as Charles Dickens. Oh. I love that man. So... Anyway, so we are well into series one in our great rewatch. We're watching it with the hubs, too. So Damaris and I can't just sit and have, like, a... We can't watch two series in one afternoon. No, because we would certainly attempt to do that. Because Damaris and I are home together. We would probably do that. We would like, do that. Uh, but the hubs is at work. So we are having to limit ourselves. But it's a good thing because... Um, we're, when we finish Angel, we're going to start watching... Granada Holmes. Right, because we are almost done... Well, I guess we're going to cover that in what we're reading. But we've been reading Sherlock, all the novels and short stories. So that is going to be what Damaris and I watch together. And then when the Hubs is home, the three of us are going to watch... Doctor... Doctor Who! All right. Oh! Tell them about the next thing. No. <laughs> Tell them. Okay, but don't shout Benedict! Can I shout Benedict first before you do it? No. Okay. Trailer for The Desolation of Smog! Sla did you see it? We'll put, a, we'll put it in the show notes. The video. Yes, I did see it. And wasn't it funny when I said when, when Martin's walking, 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 and here comes Benedict as the dragon, I'm like, hello, Martin, meet Benedict. It was really funny. Butterflies. It looks awesome. I can't wait for it. And it comes out? Uh, December 13th in the UK. So we get the 50th of Doctor Who in November. We get the next Hobbit. And we get Christmas special with spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you don't want to know spoiler about Doctor Who, go away, go away, go away. The new Doctor! Regeneration! Holy crap! We get the 12th Doctor in the 12th month. They've been planning this all along. We still don't know who it is that we thought we were going to find out because there was like this rumbling over the, the weekend that a um, London... Was it a London newspaper was going to leak it? Had found out and was going to leak it? But then BBC was like, no, we're not releasing it. And then there was more more something about supposedly somebody had been offered the job and they were waiting to determine. What was his name? Do you remember? We looked him up on IMDb. I didn't know. We, could, we didn't know who he was until... We looked him up, and we still didn't, I mean, we still didn't really know him that well, but, but supposedly he's been offered the job. This is according to rumors. None of this is BBC said, so. <sighs> Hobbit, Benedict, Martin, Doctor Who, Scotland. Speaking of Scotland, we're still raising funds. Um, we got some great prizes, jewelry, um, patterns, some hand-knit items, Doctor Who gifties that are prizes. So if you want to donate, please go to scotland.thealmonds.com. It probably says this above our heads. And um, donate. Uh, even $5 helps. So if you're interested, scotland.thealmonds.com. Oh, my gosh. We have been doing yummies forever. We had a lot of yummies to talk about. All right, on to the next segment. Okay, I just wanted to show you from the last segment because I found it. We were talking about the stitch markers that we got from Christy Ray, and I found the missing one. It had fallen in the floor. So... The solid red one that has, like, the 
this, I don't, can you point to the one I'm trying to talk about, Damaris? That one. There's four of those, and then this other one that is red and white, there's the one of those. So that was my set. And Damaris found hers that was missing too, Christy. It had just fallen. So we're safe. We've got them all. Thank you. Okay, now what are we talking about? What we've been reading and watching. So, we are finishing reading. The casebook of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And actually, I'm done with it. And Damaris has... One story left. One story left. So we're almost done with that. I don't know how I should feel. I know. It was good, though. A part of me died when I read his last bow, though. Oh, I know. Oh, my I gosh. I died inside. That reminds me of an 80s song. Okay. Um, I died inside. That's not the lyrics of it, but it's close. Um, and what I'm reading, Angie, Sunday's E920 that we talked about a few minutes ago that started a podcast. You're going to be so proud of me, Angie. I finally, finally, finally finished a Moonblood, which is Tales of the Goldstone Wood, book number three by Anne Elizabeth Stingle, because Angie sent me the fourth book, and I finally started it last night. This is Starflower, and this is the fourth book in the series, and it kind of threw me a little bit at first, and I had to go back and read the a note to the reader again. Because this is a prequel, and I was so confused when I started reading. That's what I get for, mm -hmm. like, trying to read when mm -hmm. I'm having insomnia and need to be sleeping, and I'm reading anyway. But I've started it. I'm only a little ways in. But I've started it, Angie. Are you proud of me? Okay. Um, let me put that over there. All right. TV. Continuum. Started up on Friday. Damaris didn't watch this with me, but I watched it with the hubs. So this was episode 2.1, Second Chances. So there was lots of different storylines going on in this, and it had been a lot, little while since we finished season one. So some of it was confusing, and I, I was really glad that I watched it a second time because it kind of tied up some things or connected some things that I was so confused about. So one thing that I'm, what that I was thinking about as I'm watching is, we saw that future Alec uploaded the files into Kira, into the, whatever it's called, for himself to find. When the time traveling happened, and we know that younger Alec's already found those, and it caused Kira to like have this horrific nightmare and headaches, and it was really bad. Um, and then, in the past, Kira gave Alec the piece of the time travel device. So, the, the warning, all we've seen that I recall of the warning that um, future Alec sent was that it was a dangerous path and, and not wanting younger Alec to take this path again. But we don't know what that path was. So, was it something to do with the time travel device? Is it something to do with the corporations? So, what is this path? That he's trying to stop because you've got these loops of time and time is wibbly wobbly it's not a straight line that was a doctor who reference just in case you missed it okay something is up with travis because you know what's her name uh did i write down her name no, I didn't. Anyway, she shot him a bunch of the time, and he, like, died on the table in the hospital. And then they, like, pronounced him, and then all of a sudden there was, like, an internal shock. that, And it brought him back to life. So, who planned that, or is that something that, like, all the future people have? Or, what is it? And he, like, went crazy and started killing people in the hospital and all this. And now he's in jail with Alex's brother from him doing the, having all the bomb explosion thing. And Alec has left home and moved in with friends, and he's gotten a job at a computer store, and he avoided Kira for a while because of the message that he got from Future Self, but she forced him to help her, and 
so now they're working together again. Next episode is Friday night, the 14th, episode 2.2, Split Second. You want to talk about Warehouse 13? Sure. But you wrote all this. I did. Tell them what episode it was, though. Warehouse 13, 4.16, Runaway. So, it was just a, it was, it was a nice relationships episode. Yeah? I loved Claudia and Artie working together. That was really nice. And he was so sweet trying to plan the perfect birthday party for her. I liked all that. And he kept trying to trick her and tell her he was going to do something. With a clown? With a clown. Okay, was it just me or was Pete, like, extra quirky in this episode? What do you think? I don't know. He seemed really quirky to me in this episode. I mean, he's quirky, but he seemed extra quirky to me. Do you need a nap? I don't know. <laughs> or am I boring you? No. Okay, good. And I cracked up at the end when Pete told Artie that he was an onion of mystery. He makes you cry. <laughs> But there's also layers. He cries, you people. We layers of him. Um, that sounded, um, forget I said that. I know what you meant. So tell them when the next episode is. Next week. Monday. The 4.17. What matters most. Yeah, Monday the 17th. So. That's TV this week. I know. It's short. Quit quit yawning. I love you, Maris. I'm sorry. I love you, Maris. Do you love me, too? Yes. Okay. Okay. We're ready to talk about the next thing. So here we go. Now we are talking about the June color cow. We are still doing it through the end of June. June the... the... 30th. 30th. You know what my June Color Cow project was? We know what your June Color Cow project was. Sarah Jane, the Doctor Who stuffy. She's pink, and I love her. What are you doing to Sarah Jane? Wait, wait! Don't send me away! No! <laughs> look, Sarah Jane, look, it's the TARDIS! Oh, wait, look, there's a bunch of artists. <laughs> you can't have her. Tell them about the color cow. What are they supposed to do? Um, any project counts as long as it has your favorite color. So, um, any project, favorite color, colors. Yes. So, we had a bunch of finished projects this week. Stop! <laughs> In the name of love. I gotta tell them about the finished projects. There was a lot of them. <laughs> Crow Julie, who is Julie, finished a bunch of things. I'm stuck. She finished a knitted hot pad. She finished ankle socks. And she finished cable socks. And I love the yarn she used for the socks because it was pink. Stitching Out Loud, who is Cat, finished the four Amy socks. And I told her she needed to rename them the four CC socks. Do you see where I'm going with this? They need to come live with CC. <laughs> and she also finished the hot button hot pad. Linda M. Noble, who is Linda, finished a lot of things as well. <laughs> Stop. She finished the mini messenger bag, the trilobite socks, and the Irish mesh cow. Phoenix Fire, who is Tracy, finished... Do you want to say the name? Xavier. Xavier. As in Charles. Sure, the observant owl. And Sunday Z920, this is like the Angie show. We've talked about Angie a lot. And Linda, too. Angie, Sunday Z920, finished the fungus, which is so funny. It's little mushrooms. Cute. Way to go, everybody! <laughs> so keep knitting your color projects. Her scarf is falling off. Keep knitting your color projects through the end of the month. <laughs> Enter in the thread in the Ravelry group. Mm. Way to go, everybody! Ow, ow. <laughs> On to the next segment! This is the end of the show. 
as we know it. And I feel fine. I thought you were going to sing your song. This is the end. <laughs> Hold your breath and count to ten. Okay, what are you supposed to be telling them about? Um, You're supposed to be telling them about this. Oh, yeah. We are almost at 200 members. Wow. I don't know how many we have right now. I haven't That's checked. That's amazing. When she last checked, we had 173 members. But I don't know when that was. So, and we'll be giving away prize, prizes, prize. At least one prize. At when 200. We get, at, when we get to 200 members. So, come join our group. And about your friends, your family, your big green rage monster. I don't know. Your stuffy. No, not really. Um, VKNs. Okay, stuff. You cannot have her. She is not yours. She is mine. We, the next VKN will be the third Friday of the month, which will be the 21st at 6 p.m. Central Time. So, we'll be doing it with Google Hangouts, so make sure that you have an account and watch the board and Twitter and Plurk and all the places for the link. Okay, tell them where to find us. You can find us many places online. Our website is at geekygirlsknit.blogspot.com, and there there are links to YouTube and iTunes and Blip and Facebook, etc. Yes. And that's a wrap for episode, what episode was this? 42. 42. Meaning we are... the life, universe, and everything. Oh, it's the meaning of life. It's the circle of life. And it moves us all. <laughs> and so we will thusly move on to our knitting and say adieu. To you and you and you. Until next week. Happy knitting. Have a great week.